All right, here we are in game two on the night. We have Illumination Valiant on the blue side and Fleet Street on the right. Bon, take it over. All right, we see a Tristan Aban. Um, obviously, I don't have a coming in. Buffs uh, did some work on her, made her a bit strong. Uh, Fleet Street, you know, taking the time with these bands. Um, we just saw Illumination Valiant pull out a very, very strong team fight and comp and played it extremely well. So, so I'm looking to see. Actually, so it turns out Fleet Street uh, lost a ban, I suppose, to uh, an emergency sub. Okay. Something that happened, so. Okay. We'll see a Ben here. Maybe they lose all of them. Maybe they just lost one. But the uh, oh, the AD God. is getting target banned. I guess yeah. warning shot is somebody to be looking out for. Yeah, uh, has, has a name to prove his name. See me. Warning shot. True. And if you have on, uh, you know, strong team fighter. Uh, Chin. Do you not like more than the Tristana in uh, in this current ADC battle right now? Uh, Storm Rays are very strong on him. Yeah, the Zyra ban coming out. Very strong bot laner. I know I hate playing against her. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the Ooh, Den, though, first getting that misfortune again left open. Yeah, he's not very impressive with moments. Deny any Braum from him, though. Also, Braum is a very strong counter. Shield coming in. Yeah, for sure. Very, very good pick. Uh, Who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe warning shot wanted to pick up that misfortune. Maybe that's what was <laughs> happening there. <laughs> and we see a Shen. Uh, probably not. Definitely not going to be a support Shen, uh, unless that Brom goes mid. And we see a funnel. Uh, I'd like to see a funnel actually. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see a funnel. Really That'd be rather interesting. Yeah, I'd like to see how our silver team uh, executes a funnel. So it looks like to me that Illumination Valiant is looking for another team fight comp. They got the Misfortune and they got the Orianna that was banned away from them last game. Yeah, Kindred, um, hmm. Kindred can be proactive with counter jungling, has has that range. Once he gets a red smite in, he could um you know counter jungle pretty effectively and outdo most other junglers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alessandra, um, good for picks, strong laning phase, uh, has about equal amount of wave play to Oriana as the game goes on. Yeah, and she does have that huge ulti that she can choose to either use to heal herself or lock down a target. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see it used on the Kindred to play that ultimate. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Kai'Sa Ban, uh, Kai'Sa very strong right now, don't want to... Uh, the, uh, I'll Morgana. see a Morgana ban as well. Morgana Misfortune is very strong. Uh, yeah, yeah. We talked earlier about um, how Misfortune lanes are very tricky to deal with because you yeah, instinctively want to stand behind minions and Misfortune can double up and just take away half your health as we saw in the last game. Morgana yeah. is very strong paired with Misfortune because you kind of have to hide behind minions to avoid getting Mo Morgana bound. Binded, I guess. I don't Warning know. shots being target banned even harder. That's two more ADs banned. Yeah, I'd like to have seen him um pick up something in the this round of draft, uh, knowing that he would get pinched. Uh, but Jinx coming in. Jinx is a good team fighter. Um, has ha, doesn't have like a a, a a a a comfortable build, I guess you could say. We see a lot of people going Storm Razor into more crit. Yeah, and I was gonna say I I would be interested to see if uh, Grim was gonna pick a tanky engaged support on like an immobile, very immobile Jinx, you know? Yeah, I mean, we Leona picked up Leona. huge. Yeah, that Leona all this guaranteed to at least move a flash if he targets the Jinx. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, and the um, mouth fight there. Definitely gonna be wanting to group it. Uh, yeah, I, I like that mouth fight pick. Uh, the, the old school ball delivery system. Yeah. Get a few people, maybe maybe even two or three, just clumped up for that misfortune. It would be it's very nice to see. Yeah, um, and it's it's devastating. It ruined like after after you lose Jinx, 
and like Shen or Jinx and Lissandra, like if, if you hit Jinx and one other person with that, like the team fight's over. They, uh, Fleet Street does not look like they drafted a whole lot of damage. They, <laughs> they have a lot of peel, but... Yeah, Ivan, hmm. I don't like Ivan right now, do you? I, yeah, I definitely agree. I don't, I'm a little confused by this Ivan pick, but I'm glad that we're seeing something different. At least I haven't seen a Lissandra in a little bit. I haven't seen yeah. a Jinx in a little bit. The, the problem with Ivan is you need Smite to secure the, um, the scuttle grabs, or else they'll just get taken from you all the time. Yeah. Uh, definitely, I'll protect the Jinx com coming out here with Brom, Ivan, and Shen. Yeah. I wonder if they'll um, funnel gold into her. <laughs> um, uh, we need to. Kindred also needs to be very careful about um, how he uses his ult. Uh, yeah. He could definitely deny some kills from his teammates in those wombos. Yeah. But uh, right. uh, I hope we see some smarter play than that. Yeah, and we know that, like we like from what we've seen last game, the uh, the, blue, the elimination valiant does seem to be pretty good at playing together and like not having kindred alt when misfortune yeah, and they, they are a lot of good, a lot of good synergy in the last game uh, that um yeah that comes through in this game as well um so i guess we could just go down and look at the late matchup shen malphite um shen is a resourceless champion so i think um you know as the the lanes go on, Shen could get it better at those trades. Uh, Malphite with that attack, uh, attack them with steroid. Shen has the ability to block um, auto attacks. Uh, Malphite, I think we'll just see him. Hopefully, we don't see this, but he might just end up just using out all his mana and, you know, be like left with his. You know. Yeah. I was going to say something. Shen I that say. energy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the jungle, we already spoke about that, Ivan, uh, not really the strongest right now. I think we'll see Kindred invade and maybe, uh, maybe, you know, burn a flash or maybe even get killed, maybe steal a buff. Or, you know, Sandra, pretty even. Um, uh, with regards to the 2v2, mid-jungle mid 2v2, uh, I heavily favor Illumination Valiant. Yeah. Kindred and Oriana. The Lissandra does have a lot of CC though, so if we see yeah. like Jinx and Brom roam up with the Lissandra and the Ivern, like they have, they have all that entry right. Like Lissandra can jump into the middle of all five of them with a Shen ultimate on him and snare everybody, you know, yeah, and then like lock down the misfortune without letting her get anything that she needs to get off, right? But yeah. I do like that the uh, that illumination. It does have more sources of damage whereas when jinx is dead and if uh, if when jinx is dead if we if lissandra sorry falls behind they're they have no damage yeah um the you know shen does you know some damage but you know you know that um that late game team fight carry um yeah uh what are your thoughts on the bot lane I, the bot lane will, it'll be, I feel like it'll be strongly dependent on the skill of both of them. Like, we have to see Jinx position very well to be able to not take too much damage from those double shots or be too close to get CC locked by the Leona. Yeah, the Leona as well needs to, to mind herself and not um, go in too deep without the uh, misfortune there because she could get proc with the concussive blows from and that will not be a good day for her yeah for sure for sure the um and we'll have to see if the how much uh, damage the brom can block out yeah and, if, he, uh, if he times the shield properly he um he'll, he'll definitely have a huge impact in team fights and skirmishes uh i guess he, there are other things to for him to, to make him burn his shield, like the Oriana ball and stuff. But I think he needs to, to be mindful that he needs to save that shield from his fortune. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. The uh, we were talking about how we have how Illumination does have that ball delivery with 
the Malfoy, but we also do have to remember that they could have the ball delivery with the Leona as yeah, well, but I don't absolutely. imagine her being too super engagey. I would like to see Malfoy alting in with the ball on him and then Miss Fortune doing all the damage with the ulti mixed with the shockwave and Leona there for peel if necessary. Yeah, um, peel will be a huge thing to keep the Shen off of. Shen by a lot of disruption. Yeah. Uh, we might also see uh, Daisy coming in. Uh, you know, could probably knock up Miss Fortune out of the world, maybe. If, if she's left unchecked. But with the team comp that Illumination has drafted, if they do play it right, I do think that they picked better and it could snowball a lot harder than uh, than Fleet. Yeah, I agree. Um, we see the Ivan coming in with uh, a Azu's Mastery. Um, damn. All right. Well, here we go on the Summoner's Rift. As you probably heard, we are we got Illumination Valiant on the blue side and Fleet Street on the right. Or sorry, the red side. Pretty average starts coming out. Nothing too crazy like we saw last game with Illumination Valiant. Yeah, um, I usually like to see five months because he could um, apply Concourse of Blues. You know, it gives his whole team CC. But I think the Leona also provides some good um, level one. So I don't think they want to chance that too much. Yeah, just a line up for both teams. Nothing crazy happening. Yeah, nothing, nothing really to um, to look at here. I'm uh, just gonna maybe play some wards at entrance. So uh, check out invades. Maybe keep an eye on scuttle crabs. So the dens actually picked up that Doran's ring, rather yeah, than yeah, he did. He did this in the last game as well. He likes to um, spam that make it rain as well as the. I see, I see. Yeah, I, I found it very interesting. Make it rain does have a, a scaling. Yeah, and the AP scaling on the Q and the, and the E. Yeah. It's interesting, but, I, but I, I like it. Average starts coming out. The, uh, the Fleet Street spot lane just kind of sitting there making it look like they were leashing. <laughs> uh... Leisha, Leisha, you gotta leash the Ivern. He has he struggled <laughs> with taking those camps early yeah, on. Yeah, you, you ain't fooling anyone. We see a pause coming, but we can talk about that. For, we you do uh, that's not fooling anyone. I think it's best to still go, you know, try to get some priority, shove it out. Yeah. So I'm not too sure what this pause is about. Yeah, because um, we immediately saw a ready check coming in, but um, the pairs are not ready. Uh, we see a hail of blades coming in for um, the kindred. Uh, hail of blades not you know on release didn't really have a lot of um, power behind it, but we saw some buffs coming in the last two patches, uh, increase the attack speed as well as the refresh on the uh, out of combat refresh. So yeah. uh, you know it's it's pretty nice right now. Yeah, and being able to proc uh, proc her E quickly with the the hail of blades will yeah. definitely benefit her well leona taking a decent amount of poke the wave is pretty big for both sides lissandra actually taken to 60 percent hp and nothing, yeah. nothing crazy happening top leona up there helping king yeah, that's... cuddle uh, top lane this game is the wettest of wet noodles <laughs> what noodle fights, dude? I oh my god, I remember that. But actually, Kindred's gonna be in there invading the Ivern. Ivern did have to blow the flash to get out of that. Yeah, we predicted this. Ivern, yeah, has to use his um his flash there. Kind of worried about the the Kindred. Come on, not level two actually. Only did um uh red buff, uh, uh razor beaks and and scuttle. Yeah, but that was a lot of damage really quickly with that hail of blades. 
Yeah, absolutely. She can, like was... you can actually um, just go up to the second scuttle and secure both of them. There's not really much Ivan can do about that. Yeah, no, not a chance. In the, uh, like, Ivan just smiting that Grop too. So that's yeah. where a little bit more of that damage came from. But Kindred actually did already have one stack. She did pick up that Scuttle Crab and it did have the stack. But actually, looks like there's an all in in the top lane. Mouthbite does have to flash it away, but the flash follow up from Shen able to pick up that first blood solo kill against B Sharp. Those noodles stiffen a little bit. <laughs> so that's actually the second time that we've seen B Sharp lose the 1v1 early, but Kindred now running around in Ivern's jungle again, trying to pick up this red buff. Ivern is pretty low. I doubt he'll be able to fight that, and that's another free. Yeah, he does red have the buff. Shen coming in though. Yeah, it does have the Shen coming in, able to just jump over that wall. Oriana was there to support as well, but the Braum doing, trying to get some concussive blows off on the Misfortune. The Leona did just miss the re-engage as well, but Misfortune taking a decent amount of damage from the Jinx auto attacks after getting rooted up. Double yeah, shot, not half healthing yet, but the Braum going <laughs> really hard. Does land the Winter's Bite, nothing else onto that Misfortune. Leona is going to take a little bit of poke damage, nothing crazy, no sums being burned just yet. Yeah, uh, Misfortune, uh, kinda overdoing it with the spells out, burning all of our mana. You can actually see the mana bar going up though from that now, though. Oh my god, the double shots are doing a little bit of damage, yep. but <laughs> one isn't making Jinx want to go back just yet, but Lissandra is engaging with that E, getting a decent trade off, but drops the Ignite. <laughs> Forcing Oriana to heal, drops the flash, does not find the Q to pick up that kill though. It was very close. Oriana pushing up with no mana or heal. This could be greedy, but Ivern is running around Kindred's jungle. Kindred actually looking for that gank onto the Lissandra with the mouth bite. We do know that she has no flash, able to get out with her E. Will we see the dive? No, but Brom. Maybe moving up a little too far, getting those concussive blows off on the Leona. She's going to be stunned up for a little bit, but huge damage coming up from the double shot. Able to find the way on to Jinx. Jinx does have to flash away, and Brom follows up with the Misfortune. Misfortune is able to find that kill on Warning Shot, and that should be a double kill over to the Dens on that Misfortune. Yeah, that you know, I was, um, I was kind of... Not sold on the airy for Misfortune, but it did secure a kill just for one. Yeah, it did secure the kill, and the problem with the problem with the, the with the Braum against the Misfortune, when the when the shield breaks and it's only blocking some of the damage, you want to stand in front of your AD with that yeah, shield. Absolutely. So Misfortune drops the Q on the Braum and it bounced onto the Jinx. If I if I saw that right. Yeah. Uh, it, it would only absorb the Q, but you know, it broke already. Yeah. And um, did some good damage. We, we see Shen hitting 6, uh, good way before Malphite. Shen level 6, you know, that really, you know, the combat power to him. But he could be looking to make some plays around the map now. Yeah, him on the wrist is screaming to his team, I have 6, I have 6. You win that bot fight next time. But actually, the Dens did pick up that double kill and his 8 CS up. And the Jinx actually did not buy anything upon dying. Yeah, so one she was still probably just on that empty Doran's blade. Probably sat on like eleven fifty gold and was like, you know what, I just want. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But the blue team able to pick up probably that first Infernal Dragon cleanly. Yeah, no that's cash. gonna feel good. Not right now, but it will in like ten minutes. So Jinx walked up, grabbed some of that CS, and backed for the BF sword. Yeah, that's um. We'll see Lissandra maybe collecting too soon. Unless Brom collects it by mistake. Or maybe Lissandra won't pick it up. Maybe yeah, Jinx maybe will Lissandra try to pick that up. Okay. <laughs> Lissandra's like, this Oriana is doing so much damage, I'm worried I'll lose it. <laughs> <laughs> The Braum is kind of running around the jungle. He's been doing that for a little bit. Jinx is isn't gonna miss too much experience though from not being able to. Uh, I think Braum actually did pick up the right buff. Now. Yeah, Braum did pick up that blue buff. 
Well, somebody has to die. Yeah, somebody has to. And you know, after I die in any lane, I would be too confident to give it. But, you know? He's taking a decent amount of damage, but Misfortune does overstep a little bit. Did get caught by that snare, but Brom and Miss, uh, sorry, Brom and Jinx are not level six yet, so there was no follow up to that because Leona and Misfortune are level six. Yeah, Misfortune um keeps stepping on those um on those chompers and it's it's kind of turning the traits a, a little bit. Uh, they're still in their favor for now, but um she needs to really mind herself on that. Yeah. Mid lane, nothing too crazy happening after that little play. She, uh, just decent poke. Alright, farm for both. In the top lane. And then the yeah. noodles are softening up again, so. Uh, I'd like to actually see a. <laughs> I'd like to actually see a, a bot play. Um, you know, the, J, the Misfortune has no summoner, they have a channel. But actually, the, Shen the is getting baited, it looks like. Kindred is walking up, but that Shen is taking no damage from the Malphite. Does drop the Flash to try and get away, but Malphite follows up with that ulti, blocking as much of the autos as he can, but he will fall with Kindred's Flash, however. But that is a free kill going over to Kindred. Yeah, how do you neutralize that Shen? How do you focus the Shen? That's very good play for Yeah. Shen should have probably seen that coming. Like... Malphite did lose that 1v1 earlier, and so it seems it should seem unlikely to him that he doesn't want to fight. He just wants to to like farm up and keep that TP ready for his team. And he was fighting in a really bad spot too. Yeah, that is so, that is a curse of a top leader, is the 1v1 mentality. Island. Yeah. It's never a 1v1. Never. <laughs> Except for first blood. That was a 1v1. <laughs> but I don't know, Ivern, my is not that Ivern is hovering around that bot side and Lissandra is starting to move the Brom drops the ulti on the misfortune she also will be caught by that flame choppers but big damage coming out from her ulti not going to be able to find anything and the cousin custom float does finish her off she does not have flash up and she will fall and then Leona is probably going to fall next the beautiful ulti coming out from Kindred, but the Super Mega Death Rocket does find the second kill for Jinx Oriana now. Almost overextending, not quite, but that was a really good ulti from Kindred, however, it did still result in her life. And that should be first tower going over to the red team, unless Malphite can somehow get that faster, but that's not gonna happen, so. <laughs> I like that very much. Committing five to the bot lane. To, you know, get get um get your jinx out of the lane and please. Uh was having a pretty rough time against Emus Fortune. They've now even the kill feed three to three. Yeah, that was and actually uh, going ahead in the goalie uh going ahead in the goalie by one hundred. Almost just over a hundred. Or just under a hundred. Because it's changing every I don't know. It's it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> but that was a really good channel. Able to block out all of the Denz's ulti damage. And so the Misfortune not able to get the kills that she wanted, the trade kill at least. So both bot laners are sitting at 2 and 1, but Jinx is a little bit down in CS, but Misfortune does have no tower, and they have been pushing, which means that they're a lot more susceptible to the ganks. However, the Shen does not have his ulti, did probably TP back to lane, I'm not 100% sure, but Malphite does have that TP available for the next play if the red team does try and do something around that bot side again. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see um, I'd like to see the, the bot lane for Fleet Street move up to maybe mid or top and try to secure some more towers. It, it, it does seem a little early though. I mean, maybe yeah. move up to top to try and get that tower, but the, the problem is Valiant is still pushing that bot and I don't really think that Shen can handle the two of them alone. Yeah, I think but, Kindred and Shen together can do it, but maybe they just want to um, stay in their lane and pick up some farm. Yeah. Yeah, Shen right. was having a good time in that lane uh, against Malphite, so maybe he just wants to push his advantage a little bit. He's down in CS now because he had to um, commit to the bot lane. Yeah, and we're going to see that uh, 
Kindred is down in that ball lane, trying to get that tower. Brog does drop the ulti, but the tower will still fall. But Ivern's here, and Leona is going in very deep, but the ulti from Miss Fortune is zoning, did zone out the Jinx, sorry. She did have to flash out, but oh my god, a beautiful shockwave finds three members and Daisy. Nothing else gonna be coming from that, though. The bot tower did fall. That was a really big ulti from yeah. Oriana, unfortunately, unfortunately. the red Yeah, I think um, Fish and Fauna ulted in the, um, the Kindred ultimate, so it didn't really do any damage. The kid, well, they're on the same team now. Damage. <laughs> the problem. But... Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah! I forgot Kindred also couldn't, goes couldn't, it. couldn't find the kills. The Sandra though going hard does have to flash out. She did just give away her life for free, but the Flame Choppers do do catch Leona. She is very low, but another kill going over to the dense on that Brom and Jinx did have to flash away, but Oriana flashing to catch up, and that's going to be another kill going over to Illumination. Yeah, and as um, for the mid laner from Fleet Street wa wasn't really involved in uh, what else, their first involvement in, um, in any sort of kills that uh, probably didn't, uh, probably overestimated our own power. Um, yeah, that was a really, it, it seemed like it was okay, but the rest of her team was in a wreck. Like, she went in and snared up too, but then yeah. she immediately had to flash away. Like, it, I don't know, that's just, it seemed a little weird to me. Yes, same same for me. Uh, we will see a, a pretty late rod coming in from um, Clayton Armor as well. Uh, 15 minute rod doesn't feel too nice. Yeah, I, um, I definitely... Yeah, actually, I definitely agree with that. He is... But both mid laners are pretty low on CS. But Oriana does have a kill and an assist on top of the Lissantra, so she is a little bit further. She yeah, definitely she does not have her sums up though, and she yeah, we'll might. Yeah, a lot of um, skirmishes going on, kind of denying farm from the mid lane. We have Leona collecting waves in the mid lane. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little weird, but I guess we're seeing what we saw last game. So the bot lane did pick up that tower, and now they're roaming mid. Looks like they're gonna try and get some eyes on that Rift Herald, try and push down, and they also did pick up a second Infernal Drag. Which is really, yeah, really I, good. I really like this. We saw this last game. They're moving up to secure vision around objective. While um, the top laner with TP up is, is off in a side lane. You know, you gain um, minions and XP and creating pressure. Yes, for sure. Oh my god! The Oriana doing so much damage to the Ivern. Not able to find the kill though. That's a huge... Ultimate that is down the shockwave will be on cooldown for a little bit and actually the red team is three strong in that mid lane Noodle fights in the bot lane now <laughs> and, uh, the Dens and Grim are in that top lane just pushing out some waves Yeah, we saw both top leaders build sunfire and then build Dreads to neutralize the sunfire <laughs> So nobody's doing anybody <laughs> They, uh, those fights between Malphite and Shen probably last at least 30 seconds. <laughs> Jinx, not gonna go for anything crazy. She did look like she might have gotten caught, but she was just chilling. But the blue team, the, sorry, Illumination is trying to look for that Rift Herald. There is vision on it, but Ivern is Currently on the wrong side of the map, Jinx is running up alone. The uh, Redemption popped to just try and get some more vision because they did drop that pink ward and the Rift Herald will go over cleanly. Yeah, the Rift Herald did fall. I didn't see the notification thing. Yeah, but the Rift Herald did fall, Kindred did pick it up, and nothing else too crazy from that. Yeah, uh, you see how... Um... Malphite actually getting a bit of a push advantage against Shen. I would have liked to see Shen go um, uh, Titanic Hydra to help out this push a little bit. Yeah, because he's not, uh, he doesn't have like the, the huge wave clear abilities. Like, yeah, Malphite uh, has that ground smash. But uh, decent, decent uh, heralds coming out for the blue team. I wonder how they're going to use it. Do they want to try and place it top? 
get that inner tower, bot get that inner tower, or get that first mid tower? I think um I think they'll go with the mid tower, try to open up the map up. That's what Actually, right yeah, now. that's what she's doing right now. They, she just spawned. So the Rift Herald is in the mid lane. All of the blue team is rotating there, except for the Mouthbite, but he does still have that TP available. So he's going to want to be splitting in that bot lane now. Yeah. If this can run a bit more selfish, you could like... Oh, but the Shockwave coming out from Oriana does land Ooh. on three, and the Misfortune does pick up two, and that's going to be a third kill on Lissandra, and the Shen is running for his life, does drop the flash, and he will be fine. But that was the wombo combo that we were talking about, but there was no ball delivery on that one. That was all fishing for honor. What a beautiful that was, ulti. That was incredibly sexy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was, that I'm, was I'm, I'm, I'm from the island, so I know sexy. <laughs> that was a great... Oh my god, Leona's... Oh, Misfortune drops the heal to keep Leona from getting executed, and that's gonna be... The bot inner tower going down as well as the mid inner tower did fall after that fight. So the yeah. bot or so the illumination should be having eyes on that last top tower and because the Baron is spawning rather shortly, but there is also an infernal drake. Or sorry, not an infernal, an ocean drake spawning rather soon. So maybe yeah. they'll want to get that because they already have two. You know, just uh, go lead coming out there, six and a half ish key. Yeah, um, and they're up five yeah. towers to one as well. Yeah, I'd like to see um vision around the dragon. Um, even if even if um the the uh fleet street has the wherewithal to go trade dragon for baron, I I, I think I think I'll take triple in him over uh, baron from behind. Sorry, triple inferno, not triple in him. Yeah. It's uh. I don't, I just, I feel like even if uh, Fleet was able to pick up that bear in there, wouldn't be much they could do. They do, yeah. they did not draft the, the, the super team fight like Valiant did, and they are up so, by so much right now. They do have, they are on that Dragon and Malphite, and Shen are just skirmishing around in that top lane. Shen is 40 to 50% HP, so it'll be a little bit weird for him coming in. He is going to back though, so that gives Malphite the opportunity to get some damage on this tower. The blue team is taking that dragon. It should be uncontested. The shockwave does miss on everyone, and the red team is going in really hard. There is Lissandra on the backside, but Jinx will fall, and this fortune is going to fall in straight to the Braum. But huge damage going out onto the entire red team. That Kindred is just laying damage with that. Uh, Oriana able to clean up the rest of the team, and that's going to be an ace, five for two, for the blue team. Yeah, that, that Kindred was very impressive in that team fight. Yeah, her positioning Jeez. was clean, and there was nobody focusing her because everybody's like, "Oh, the Dens is seven and two, or before that he was the Dens is six and one. We got to kill him. We got to kill him." But that Kindred is doing rather well. Like she has. She has six stacks and she's just doing so much damage. Yeah, very impressive. We didn't see Star United and the um, Malphite TP bird to get into the fight there. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, the, the Malphite was a, a, a greater presence than the Shen. That uh, that engage that engage it did it did feel really good and it was going well for the uh, for Fleet Street to begin yeah, with. Yeah, remember like, that, uh, that that that. That went down as it did without an Oriana. Yeah, like they, the Oriana didn't have the ulti and they called it out. And like, so the, the problem was there was no peel for the Jinx, right? Jinx got yeah. blown up immediately after all of the CC from Brahm and Lissandra. They were able to trade the kill onto the Dens, but he had already used his ulti. And so, and Jinx was already dead. And so the damage had been done. And like I was saying earlier, because Jinx did fall, because they, they just didn't have the damage to continue doing that fight. Yeah, and you know, Jinx really should not fall so easy with all the, with all the um, peel and protection tools they have. You know, Brom shield and stand behind me, Ivan shield, even Daisy could pro provide some sort of peel. He stand yeah, it was, it was really poorly done by Fleet because after Brom dropped the ulti, the Shen tried to use, the Shen used the ulti on the Brom. 
assuming that the the blue or that uh, illumination would be focusing down the Brom because he was right there. But yeah. once the ulti was used on the Braum, they were just like, all right, well, we'll just kill your Jinx then. But yeah, Braum seen, actually using the ulti, that was really weird. He's going hard in. He's taking a lot of damage. Is this a bait? They are really stacked up. There's no wombo combo coming from that. That's a huge ulti from Braum down that they have to wait for now. Seems like he just they baited himself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he thought his team was, was covered with him or... Oh, what? You know what? He did not have to burn the flash though, so that at least there's that going for him. The blue team yeah. now has started the Baron though, knowing that that huge ulti is down. Ivor though is going in. He's going to be trying, looking for the steal, but the ulti from Misfortune is coming down. Big damage, but the Lasardra picked up the Baron. That's oh huge for the red team. Shen and Jinx are the ones with the Baron. Shen does get caught by that shockwave, but he'll be able to get out. I'm sorry, Brom also does have that Baron as well. That was huge steal going over for clad in armor. Yeah, that was um that was interesting. Even even though you burned the Brom out, and I don't I don't think uh, actually starting and committing to the Baron was the right call there. I think um, you know, Smite is still available. Um the the Lissandra also still available. I think you you bait and try to go for a team fight, which you have shown that you can win. I think they, they were doing that, but I don't think they expected Fleet to just all come over the wall. Like, Ivern was over the wall, Lissadra was over the wall, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, ra so cool. rather than like, they, rather than the Dens being in a position to alt them while the rest of his team finishes up the Baron, he had to alt in the position that the Baron was still getting hit, and so it, like, it took a little bit more damage than what Kindred maybe was expecting, and that's why the Steel might have been able to come in, but the Shen is going in on the mouth fight, but the huge ulti coming out from the Dens once again, and oh my god, there's that Wombo combo, the ball delivery will catch on to three, that is a clean ace going over to Valiant, yeah, will they be able um, to end That's right what we here? like to see, this is, this is very like... That was a beautiful fight coming out from Illumination Valiant, being able to pick up all five with, or with just in general being able to pick up all five kills, finding three with that ball delivery system on the mouth fight upon the Leona catching three with her stun ulti. It was just beautifully done. GG going over to Illumination Valiant once again. They were up 13k or so this game. Yeah, let me just quickly say that um, that fight was kind of disappointing to see that loot because they broke, finally used his wall to block the majority of the Misfortune ult damage. Yeah, the Misfortune ult, it did, it, it was a beautifully done ulti, but it, it like it, it split up the team how it needed to. Unfortunately, the, the unfortunately none of the damage was there, so she isn't going to get any kill, like, uh, she isn't going to get that penta that she wanted, but... Um... <laughs> but her team able to clean up the rest. Jinx did get caught out somewhere on the side because she split off from her team. And then the beautiful Malphite ulti picking up alt picking up three. Yeah, I don't know. My shots are right now. Four members of oh damage every single member of Fleet Street. Yeah, it was it was very, very, very well done in Fleet Street does need to work on some things i do not think that the ivern like we're going back to it i do not think that the ivern was a great pick for what they were going for yeah well, actually you know what it was an okay pick for what they were going for which is protecting jinx but they did not execute that at all yeah they did not execute that well the the kindred and in, like into the kindred he has no power whatsoever early game like uh, like other than that five man in the bot lane early game i uh i just i feel like fleet street didn't do what they needed to do correctly yeah we see another impressive game from misfortune again as well as the uh the mid laner oriana but my mvp once again goes to the job playing very well neutralizing his counterpart uh consistently providing pressure consistently playing team fights extremely well i do 
I, I disagree with you on the MVP. I do think that Kindred played extremely well, but I my MVP will probably be going or will be going over to the Oriana. She did top the damage charts. She did more. She did the most damage in the game. Her shockwaves were on point, always yeah. finding the Jinx and like always finding who she needed to find multiple people, like to combo with the Dens. Like it was just I, I outstanding game from both of them. But my yeah, MVP I don't, I don't think I don't think it's a bad thing that we we have um both of them, the two very strong players. Oh, as well as Eva's fortune. Uh, not to not to discredit her, she's playing very well as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But anyway, so that was game two of the Bronze Silver League. Illumination is was able to pick up the second win of the night. Fleet Street fell just a little bit short, but hopefully they'll be able to regroup and find their footing to uh, next game to, or to next week. Yeah, I'll be signing off for the cast for the night. Um, my uh, comrade, uh, Whoops, will still be here. So enjoy him for the rest of the night.